Hey gorgeous, welcome back and welcome to another Melbourne Stripper vlog. It is Saturday night. Well, it will be Saturday night soon. It's Saturday afternoon and I'm working tonight. The week's been a bit like up and down. I mean, I'm on track to make like my minimum for the week. So it's not too bad. It, it could be a lot better, but I'm not complaining. It ha like, I've still been making money. Hello? Yes. Okay, great, thank you. I'm gonna go get my pizza. <laughs> Hey, so I have my pizza. <laughs> Been limiting myself to one Uber Eats order per trip in Melbourne. And of course, I'm like, I reserve it every time for like Red Sparrow pizza. So I am going to eat, um, ooh, I love their waffle fries so much. But I ordered the Capri, I don't, I'm not gonna say it right. I, I'm such a white person. Cap Capri, <laughs> so embarrassing. But yeah, I normally go for like the Patatas Bravas or um, yeah, I normally just go for the Patatas Bravas, but I thought I'd try something different. Yummy. And I got the waffle fries and I decided to try this hot sauce that I always see and I ordered it once, but then they never delivered it. So I'm keen to try it. I'm gonna have the waffle fries now and save the pizza for um, just before I leave for work. So I'm gonna have some waffle fries. I'm gonna start getting ready and I'll see you soon. Okay, I just dropped my primer and spilled it everywhere. And that looks kinda funky. Not gonna lie. Off to a great start. Okay, I've done my foundation, my highlighter and my brows. Okay, ignore the messy room. And before I do my eyeshadow, I just need to decide what I'm going to wear. And I haven't bought a new outfit in ages and I'm getting kind of like tired of wearing, like I get bored easily. And I don't want to wear the same things over and over and over. But also like, <laughs> I don't want to keep buying things for work. So, hmm, what am I going to, this is my little pile, my little pile of outfits I brought with me. And then um, I've still got the spares that I brought, that I took for last night. Um... I swear I wear this all the time, but it always does me really well. I know the schoolgirl thing is a can of worms, but we're not going to talk about it. So I think that's what I'm going to wear. I'm ready a little early so I can do some stuff for OnlyFans before I leave for the club. And I got ready a, a little early as well because I was supposed to have a Woolworths delivery and I wouldn't have like extra time to go down to reception and like put everything away. And I went to check on it to see how far away it was and it was like, this order like has been delayed. It's going to arrive like 8.30 and I will not be here. So my food's gonna be sitting there in the hotel reception for literally like hours, like water and work snacks. So nothing that really needs to be refrigerated apart from like fruit, like I ordered some berries and stuff, like snacks for me to take to work tonight. I did the same order yesterday and it literally never arrived. And I was like, okay, well like I'll just change, like I'll just make another order. I got my money back, of course. I'll just do another order and then like get it like so that it's delivered before I leave for work. And it's literally not even gonna come. It's I'm like so annoyed. Like, why is it so hard for big corporations to just like to do the like what you pay them for? You know, I'm kind of bummed about that, but I'm not letting it <laughs> letting it affect my night. I don't really have many snacks to take to work. I need like sustenance all night, so I'm mostly frustrated about that. If they leave out the hydro light, though, I'm gonna be so upset. But it's okay. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna do some stuff for OnlyFans and then if I have a little bit of time afterwards, I'll do some TikTok stuff. But TikTok has been a pain in the ass lately. Like, my videos have just not been um, getting like the views and I know TikTok is like must be doing something because I'm a stripper on the internet and it's really getting on my nerves and I'm like I, I really I'm really feeling motivated to post more on TikTok and like keep putting up videos. But like when they're literally stunting my growth. I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? I thought you wanted people like on your platform, like posting things. Why are you not letting me post things? Like, why aren't you <laughs> letting my things have traction? It's so annoying. Anyway, I'm going to hopefully make a TikTok or two. I'm just gonna keep pushing through and hope, hope that TikTok st stops doing whatever they're doing. I've gotta go, I've gotta film some content and then um, I'll leave for the club. Okay, I am done and ready to go. 
Oh, excuse me. Just need to pop by the hotel reception and instead of like just walking past like I normally do, I have to like go up and <laughs> talk to the desk and I just hope that no one's there and I'm not waiting. But yeah, I'll have my groceries wait waiting for me when I get back and that's probably the last thing that I'm gonna wanna do, like put away groceries. I'm gonna wanna go to bed right away, but whatever. I'm gonna go to work, I'm gonna make some money and I'll see you at the club. I woke up this morning Got me feeling brand new Like I know what to do Got me feeling nostalgic Ancestors sending clues I'm sending gratitude back Cause the whole world outside Sun in my eye A girl in my ride busy it is 1 30 is it really 1 30 almost 1 30 um hasn't been too bad it's been steady not like boom 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 but like yeah i have been busy i'm i just finished the vip booking the customer cerebral but he wants to go for a cigarette first and so i'm kind of like taking the time to like go to the bathroom record if he doesn't come back i always do my best to get them to book like before they go have a cigarette and before they do this or that because it's never guaranteed he's the kind of guy that i can't really like book so but i it seems like he's gonna he's gonna come back and it seems like he's gonna rebook if not it's not the end of the world i'll make it work anyway so i'll keep you posted <laughs> It is just after 4.30 and I feel like I've hit a bit of a wall. I haven't really done anything in a little bit. It's just that point of the night where it's like, I feel like at this point of the night, it's either like bam, 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 really good. Like a lot of customers come in and they're like, they're not ready to go home yet. They've got like, they're feeling good. So they want to have lap dances and have fun. And they're like not thinking too much about like their money or it's like, pulling teeth and it's just like drunk people who have nowhere nowhere else to go and like people who've been here all night they've spent like their money and like they just don't want to go home yet so it's kind of like that at the moment it's people sitting around like staring into space i'm pretty happy with how i've done i haven't counted this is looking a little fat <laughs> so i'm super excited to see how i did but yeah i'm gonna stick it i always stick it out until like i know where either closing or close to closing just like just in case because you never know and i would hate to like be literally like on my way out like out the door when a group of people comes in because that's happened before i have to stay until the end because you never know like anyone can walk through the door like anything can happen so i'm gonna stick it out gonna keep persisting and yeah the night will be over soon I'm, gonna keep it I'm like a caterpillar turned into a butterfly i'm on the grass it's always greener on the other side Okay, I'm in my hotel. I have my hydrolyte, my groceries have been put away. The um, hotel staff actually put um, my fruit in the fridge, which was like really nice. Um, as in like the fridge at reception. So that was really cool. Got here eventually. And I'm ready to count some cash. So the guy who went for a cigarette didn't end up coming back in. Not too much of a surprise there, but after I walked back out um, on the floor, I was like, Okay, now his, all his mates are here. If I don't see him come back in, in like the next few minutes, then I'll, I'll move on. Cause he was like, I'll be like maximum 10 minutes. Like I do really want to like come back and like, I'm not going to leave, blah, blah, blah. I was like, they like to promise you things and then do the opposite. Pretty much after I was like, okay, I'm not going to wait anymore. The next customer that I spoke to booked me in VIP as well for the same amount of time as the other guy was going to. And then um, he tipped me $150 cash, which even better because the other guy hadn't really like been tipping me. I gave gave him a tarot reading in the booking and I did one last night as well. I, have, I feel like I haven't done them in the club for ages, but I really like doing them in the club because it's just like so like i'm making a generalization here of course but most men who come to a strip club aren't like are a bit skeptical when it comes to that kind of thing and um every time they're always like how do you know this how are you doing this like what what's going on like you've literally just told me like what's going on in my life i don't understand and i'm like that's just the way it works i can't explain it but just watching watching that happen and then being like well, like this, this is like legit. It's so rewarding because I know they're probably going in there being like, mm, it's really gonna do anything. But yeah, that was really cool. I did three half hour VIPs 
and everything else I did for throughout the night was all like five minute, 10 minute dances, just like little bits and pieces. And I made a decent stack of tipping dollars. Like I really didn't make a whole lot of tips from stage. I actually did like more cash tips tonight in stage, but I got like pretty much all of these just from like the crowd, like just customers. There was one guy who um, I was talking to him and then he just like pulled out like a stack of tipping dolls and went, do you want these? I don't know what to use them for. And I'm like, it was a stack. Like he definitely would have bought them. And um, yeah, he was like, I don't really care about these. I went, mm, okay, sure. I'll take them. I will take them for sure. Yeah, it was very steady. I wasn't super, super busy. I always had like a little bit of time between bookings. It's not like I was like in, in and out, like straight. It was, it was chill. Didn't really have any issues apart from like the first customer that I danced for, I had to end the dance early because he kept trying to touch. And when I got in there, he said, well, the other girls let me touch. And I was, and I was like, I don't believe you. Like I really, it, no. But let's count some money. Let's see how much money I made. Got a few green ones tonight as well, which is always good. So I'm gonna count all of this and then I'll do a proper money count for you in a second. Okay, so I have organized my cash properly, counted my tipping dollars. Okay, so with tipping dollars, I did $87.55 total plus with my square reader, with my square reader, I did $772.13. Transferring that to my bank now. Okay, so with cash, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100, 1200, 1300, 1400, 1000, 1500, 1510, 20, 30. So 1,530. 1,530 plus $87.55 plus $783.89 equals 1,000, get out of my, <laughs> this lamp. In the reflection, you can see what I see. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'll go over here. No! <laughs> Okay, $2,401.44. Definitely happy with that. Even though like the clubs have been quieter, there's still like, a, there's still a lot of potential to make money. It's just a matter of focusing on, like just choosing not to focus on all the stuff that's happening in the world financially and just focusing on like how you can like best entertain and how you can be better in the strip club. I think that's really the key. So easy to, to focus on like, ah, oh, it's slow, like interest rates are rising, this and that, but there's still potential to make money. Yes, it's it's gonna be a little bit harder, but you're gonna learn. If it was easy all the time, and if we were always like making money, like without effort, we wouldn't really like learn or progress anything. So sometimes times like this can actually be, can actually do us a favor as much as it's <laughs> it's it sucks to hear that, but. I have bruises. I'm really grateful for this club. I, I'm really happy here. I feel like it's the way like strip clubs should be. And I'm just really grateful to be working at this venue. So yeah, I'm pretty much doing like, yeah, week on week off at the moment. So if you're around Melbourne, you can always drop in. It's always appreciated to see friendly face. <laughs> um, I can't really say that because you've seen me, but I haven't seen you, so I don't know. But I always love it when you come in and like visit and it, it makes my heart like nice and warm. So don't be afraid. Instead of flying home on Monday like I normally would, I'm actually gonna be staying until Friday morning because I'm going to go to the AAIA Awards because I'm not, I was nominated for two awards, Best Female Stripper and Industry Ambassador. So if you voted for me, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Gonna have a vlog come out that um, of my like, I don't know, I'm just gonna see what happens. It's probably gonna be of like my prep for the event. I don't know if I'm really gonna film there. I don't know if I can film there. I don't know, I'll probably do like a day in the life vlog for, the, for that, but. That's what is gonna be coming out next week. We're setting the attention of posting weekly again on YouTube. I really miss doing more YouTube videos. I just needed some some time out. If you knew the like the 
position that I was in last year. It was just not the right time for me. So I'm really glad to be back posting again. So yeah, please make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when my videos come out. You can also keep up to date by following me on Instagram at High Vibe Hustler. If you want to see more content about how things are for me at work, that is available on my Patreon. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I hope you have a magical day.